In this video, I did a two box challenge on every Black Ops 2 Zombies map. I also decided as an extra challenge, I was not going to use Juggernaug. I ended up playing nine maps because I feel that Town, Farm, and Bus Depot are separate from Transit, even though they are part of Transit. So the goal for the entire challenge was to achieve 200 total rounds, which means I want to average 22 rounds per map. That sounds kind of easy, but without Jug on Black Ops 2, and with the fact that I only get one attempt per map, this will be difficult. All right, here we are on the first of the nine maps we're playing. And if you're confused on why there are nine maps we're playing today, I will continue to reiterate. I don't get why people lump town, farm, and bus depot with transit. I don't care if they're part of transit. They are drastically different experiences. Like your game of town or bus depot or farm is not going to feel like a game of transit. So that's why we are on nine maps today. Yet again, just to reiterate from the intro. Nine maps, two box challenge means you hit the box twice. Those are your weapons, no juggernaug. I'm allowed to use melee, like Galvin Knuckles Bowie knife. I'm allowed to use claymores and simtexes, you know, just a little utility equipment, not like jet gun or stuff like that. So I want to average 22.2 repeating rounds per map, which sounds not hard, but also one, a two box challenge can go very bad very quickly if you get a ballistic knife and a war machine, two, Black Ops 2 without Jug is just very, very annoying because they love to windmill in this game. And then also maps like Farm and Bus Depot are kind of like already from the start. So I don't expect much out of those maps. Also, since half of the maps are like more well put together, bigger DLC maps, and half of them are like Town, Farm, Bus Depot, I'm going to stagger how I do them. So I'm going to do like Town, and then I'm going to go to Die Rise, and then I'll come back to Bus Depot, and then I'll go to Mob of the Dead and then go to farm, you know, I'll do like DLC map, other map, you know, stagger it like that. So in the comment section below, give me two things. One, what is your overall round prediction for the challenge? I think I'm going with 212. I think I get this and I think I get it semi comfortably. I just have a feeling that origins or I think Mob of the Dead will be my highest. One of those maps is going to give me a big leap. And yet again, only one attempt per map. If I die on round seven on die rise, I die on round seven on die rise. So also, what map do you think I'm gonna have the highest round on and what will that round be? I'm gonna go like 32 on Mob of the Dead. I don't know. I just feel something with that map, but also with Mob of the Dead. There's the like quote unlimited life system with the afterlives, obviously. So in a normal zombies game, you have three quicker lives and then a fourth life. So on Mob of the Dead, I'll use four lives. That way it's fair, like four downs, game over. But no traps, like I'll use equipment and melee, but no traps, traps are cheating. So actually we can go get our two box hits. But as we do that, also, as always, if you enjoy any of my videos, please consider leaving like on the video and subscribing. I'd really appreciate support. Thank you all so much for your support. Let me know if you want to see more bigger challenges like these. These are really fun. Ooh, not mad. That's mobile. But also, I better have a good day today on this because, ew, what the hell is this freaking multiplayer ass setup? But yeah, this is going to be you know, like an entire day of recording. So if I have a rough day on zombies, it's going to be a rough day for the video. And we're starting it off with weapons that could have been worse. But if you know me, I just have this natural animosity towards the FAL. I just it's so mediocre and it's just like so frustrating because I don't like it, but I don't absolutely despise it. I also just I like full auto weapons. I don't like semi auto and burst. All right, we need to go get quick revive because I die on round four on town and it's game over. Then I only get to round four on town, which kind of screws the rest of the challenge, honestly. And just before this instance arises, if I get monkey bombs or EMPs, it's a respin. Like I can take the equipment. It's basically just a free box hit. Like I can just, that's what I do on stream. If we do challenges, like equipment is free, but I don't want to just then use Mustang and Sally because that kind of just doesn't feel right. And usually you don't open the bank on town because that's the best training area. But since I can't have Jug, that area actually might be better because they can't come down the staircase over there because that door will be closed. Also, I think it's funny that I'm recording this on Monday the 26th and on Friday, I had a nine hour stream and my voice was just shot after the nine hours. And then I streamed for like five hours yesterday. My voice was shot from like minute one into it. And now I'm gonna record an entire day video, even though my voice has just been dying. I feel okay today though. So today, I think I can get through this. I, why does the FAL do that? Can someone actually tell me the legit reason? Because I was sitting there spamming trigger and the M14 does it too on BO1 and BO2. And it does it on BO2 with the FAL and BO1, any semi-auto weapon. 
it fire rate locks me. I'll spam the trigger and it just locks. And I don't know why. Also, before we get to like a die rise, transit and buried, bank is not allowed in this challenge. I figured I should let you guys know that now. Bank is definitely cheating. And whenever I do challenges and I say like, oh, I don't want to use like, you know, the bank or just something else. There's always people who are like, dude, just use it. It's always so funny. There's always someone that gets so mad whenever I constrict myself in a challenge. And then there's someone who replies to that comment and is like, uh, the point is it's supposed to be challenging. And then like, there'll be a people who piggyback on that. And I'm like, it's just so funny. It like never fails. Like I just figured since I'm doing a challenge video, it's kind of implied that I'm going to try to make it a challenge. Like the only reason I'm going to use like, for the most part, like I can use some Texas. It's fine. Like it's just, I could use grenades and be okay. But for the most part, like I do melee and equipment. So if I run out of ammo, I can then force a max ammo to continue the challenge to extend the game. But stuff like the bank and traps just are not what we want for the challenge. The point is two box hits. You use those weapons. You slowly build up the game like that's the point of it. I don't know. I just think it's funny because I just figured it's like a no brainer. Also, yes, I did turn fog off and I know some people don't like that, but I can turn fog off on PC. So I'm going to turn fog off because F fog map looks way better without it. I mean, come on, like look at this. I think after this, I'm going to do die rise and then I'm going to do transit because those are the two that I just really want out of the way. I'm really not looking forward to those maps, especially transit, just because I'm going to spend so long running around, opening up the map, getting perks and pack a punch, and then I'm going to survive for 10 minutes and then die. Like, I'm just not looking forward to transit in the slightest. Honestly, another map I'm kind of scared of is Nuketown, and that is just because, you know, the random perks, like, I could not get back a bunch until round 20 on a two box. Like that, oof. Nuketown's gonna cause me some issues, too. Oh, zombie behind me. Mmm, I got so distracted by the shiny thing. Dude, I've been playing zombies very consistently for about a decade, a little over a decade now. And my one really, really bad habit is just diving at power ups. Like if I see a power up that I could use, like, you know, discounting like a double points on around 50 or something, I just dive at it. Like I mindlessly just jump. I, I don't know why I do it. It gets me killed all the time, especially on stream. I don't know why I still did it. Actually, I'm almost out of ammo. So the next time I see the shiny max ammo, I'm going to have to dive head first at it. But yeah, I don't know why. Like, do you guys have a bad habit that you just can't break in zombies? I bet a lot of you have that habit of just hitting the mystery box a lot. And instead of just just next time you're in a zombies game, buy a wall weapon, get your perks and then hit the box. Like, I know there's a lot of people that felt attacked when I said that. Don't care. Stop wasting your money getting like an M72 wall on round four when you could just buy the MPL. I don't care if you feel attacked by that. Some of you needed to hear it. And you know what? I need a max ammo because I am pretty low right now. And I'm probably just gonna get double swiped in the ass and then it's just a stupid down. Oh, wait, I saw a shiny. Two shinies maybe? Two shiny. Oh, that one shiny doesn't matter. Please, out of my way. Well, so far I'm on round 19 flawless, but my weapons are kind of falling off and I'm surprised. The 57 dual wield is putting in way more work than the FAL. Like I just I don't like the FAL and I swear it just does not feel like it's doing as much as the 57 dual wield. The FAL feels like it's one of those really controversial guns where a lot of people don't like it, but there's also a decent sized group of people who defend this weapon. So how do you guys feel about the FAL? If you've been in my streams quite a bit, you know that every time I see this, I just really this weapon again, even be a one or be a two. I just don't like this weapon. All right, I'm round 20 flawless. I want to be really happy about that. But yet again, I need to average 22 and a half. So if I don't get like 23 or not 22 and a half, well, 22.2, not 22 and a half. So if I don't get 23, I'm not going to be happy. And also, I feel like on town, I want at least 25 because bus depot and farm maybe even transit or especially bus depot and farm i don't expect much out of oh well, that was sad if i double down while talking about that i'm gonna be so pissed excuse me excuse me oh shit no one through this door oh how am i gonna go get double tap and i really need it i just don't want to try to get out of there without jug like i can get out of double tap area relatively easily if i have jug so 
Can I mad dash over there quick enough? Because these weapons are going to need double tap. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, round 20 for all of us. Not a bad start at all. Can I get back there? Or are we going to have to curl around in here? Uh, we're going to... Yep. Actually, this should be all right. Because I got double tap, so I'm not stuck in that area. As long as I don't get caught over here, we're good. Okay. I do really need ammo, though. So, um... Can I get the shiny? Oh, shiny. Hey, uh... Pretty sure I just asked for that. Thank you. Can I get the shiny insta-kill, too? I need that shiny also. No, I got pushed up here in the exploding zombies. No, 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 no. I don't want to open the door. Oh. I'm getting pushed out of that spot pretty hard. Like, my weapons are just really falling off. Hey, no matter what, we are starting at least on pace. But I'm like out of 5.7 dual wield ammo and the FAL is clinging on for dear life since round 18, so... Ooh, that was really tight. All right. Can I have an insta-kill and nuke or something? Because we are not in the best scenario. Oh my god, I can't keep doing that. This is... No, I'll die if I do that. Nope. 5-7, do build. Hold on. Hold on for your life. See, like, dude, they're so much better than the FAL. What the... What? Right by the door. No, I got pushed back up here. Oh my god. Well, that really sucks. Now the whole map is open. 5-7 do wield is still doing all right, but uh, it's starting to really feel the effects of being on round 26. And my ammo with it has not been great. All right, we are probably nearing the end of the game here. I just don't have the firepower to keep doing this. Uh-oh. Why did I run over here? That's a death. Yeah, that's a death. <laughs> huh okay cool cool that was pretty cool yeah well this doesn't feel great not gonna lie because i can't even get to double i don't even know if i can get out of here right now how do i get the perk and get out of here without jug because obviously with the weapons i have i need double tap so let's try this and see if i can not die here Oh, we're actually... Oh, we're fine. Yeah, we're good. Even though I'm just... Really... Oh. Running out of resources? Oh, I'm officially 100% out of ammo. Um, Officially... Yikes. Well, can't be mad. 27 rounds. Not mad. Actually, I'm on Dyrus. Never mind, I'm mad. You know, I never use the trample steam on this map, but I always build it. I can't remember the last time, rather than... When I use it to kill the jumping jacks without shooting a bullet for a perk. Rather than that, I like never use this, but I'm not going to do that this game. Because if they give me jug, then I kind of, you know, screwed everything up. Yeah, I never use it, but I always build it and I don't know why. Okay, box hit one. Please be nice. Don't give me war machine or ballistic knife. Please be nice. Please? Ray gun? I... What? I just asked for not this specifically. If I go hit that box and there is a war machine in my inventory after I go hit this mystery box, I'm going to lose it. All right. What is the game? Ha 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 streamer. I'm recording my streaming now. Ha ha streamer's an idiot. Ew. What are these weapons? Nice. A ballistic knife and S12 on die rise. Yes, that sounds lovely. I cannot wait to partake in these weapons. So the intelligent thing to do would be melee with the ballistic knife, get enough for Galvas, go get Galvas, and then do everything else. Because since I have the ballistic knife, the only way I can really utilize it is Galva Knuckles. So I guess this is the smart way to play. All right, I have enough to go get Galvas. Oops, I messed up the reload. Sorry. All right, this... I've died many a times to this, and I don't have Jug this game at all, so I need to be careful over here. Many a times have I died on stream to this, and then the entire chat laughs at me. Considering I'm doing this with no Jug, I think Ballistic Knife might be the worst thing I can pull. Like, War Machine's really bad too, especially since I don't have Jug or PhD, obviously. But every time I go to hit them, they hit me back, and... It's gonna get me killed. And then getting your perks back on die rise is its own thing. Oh no. We are not having a good look here on die rise. And we're gonna get power on. I think I'll go for. Actually, wait, what's here? Yeah, okay, we're going for pack first because if I die right now, all my 
points I spent on perks are useless. But if I just pack a punch, no matter what, it will give me use. So that feels like the right plan. So I'm only going to have three perks this game because I'm going to get double tap and speed. And, you know, there's no stamina on this map and I'll have quicker ride, but no who's who. No mule kick. Because who's who would be so nice if it didn't negate quicker vibe because if you die in who's who even with quicker vibe like if you die die get downed and you, you, it ends your game like i just why like i don't get why you made a perk that directly will negate another perk you have in game oh so that means probably double over there yeah double over there speed or or who's who actually but let me get double wait some texas yeah let me get double is it still there damn it I will wait. See, that's been my problem with who's who is like it's directly negating a perk. So I just don't like it. It's good once you run out of quicker vibes, but it's like that's it. It's good once you run out of quicker vibes or it's no. Oh, how did I cancel my reload right there? And it's also not bad co-op, obviously, but solo it's useless until you run out of QR and there's double tap. So we'll run back, get speed and then we're just oh, there's another zombie. And then we're just surviving. Oh my god, dude. And then there's speed. All right. We've got our setup. So I just got to get to my spot and then hopefully not die. And then once I go down, it's like really, really annoying to get my perks back. So let's try not to die at all with this wonderful, amazing weapon setup. At least Galvas are still a one hit. But as soon as they're not a one hit, that's when my game gets like way worse. Because the S12, it's not bad. It just doesn't have ammo. Like if it had... White's as much ammo as it has now, it would be a decent weapon to get to 30, but because of the ammo it has, past round 20, if that's the only weapon you're relying on, you have a problem. At least, you know, Die Rise does have max ammo rounds though, which will really help. But once the Galvas become a two hit, which is in a couple rounds, you have an issue. I just turned fog off on this, so now I can see like a lot of the distant buildings. Hey, hey, I'm talking. It's really odd now i can see like all the distant buildings like even at the bottom um dude turning fog off is weird like yeah there's still fog down here like every time you can turn fog off there is still fog but like look i can just see like the bottom of buildings and stuff it's so weird also i think the galva knuckles are now a two hit right it's 14s the last round am i correct well that's an armored zombie so yeah i believe it is this though hold on there's a normal one yep all right, well, GG. So now I need to try to like nurse my way to next max ammos, like to next max ammos, to ammo rounds. I noticed the same thing with the M1216 when I pack a bunch at one time. Like the M1216 is strong. It demolishes the Panzer. Like it's it's ridiculous, but it has no ammo. Like the M1216, the shot, not that shotgun, well, this is a shotgun, the S12 are really good, but the ammo is a problem. So then it, doesn't feel as good but like strength wise they're not bad the m 16 is like ridiculous it like one shots in like 23 or something i remember using it on round 23 in origins and like a one shot in the stomach was still going and i'm like what what is this thing but at least that town game went well die rise is going well right now even if like something happens in the next few rounds i'm just really not wanting to play transit because on friday i streamed it for like six hours i stayed up super late streaming it just don't want to go back like i don't ever want to play transit anyway but i don't want to go back man i ran out of ammo in round 16 with this yeah this is what i was talking about ammo issues oh yeah wait ammo yeah 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 yes all right and i should have a jumping jack next round too or jumping jack round next round you the worst part about going down right now is not that oh i gotta go buy my perks back it's oh i gotta go buy my perks back on die rise so i get to go play those of you know those oh my god those of you who know oh my god i there's a really funny inside joke on the channel and there is no way it happened again there's no way I, I, do I even try to fully describe it? So that happened before when we were on a die rise challenge and like there was a lot going on and there was, why is he swinging through the wall? What are you doing? Are you good? Do you know what's going on? 
I don't think he knows what's going on. But that happened before. There was a lot going on on the map. And we named him Frank, but he despawned. I was like, I was in the middle of a really hectic round. And I looked over and I'm like, what's that one zombie doing just chilling? They're not doing anything. So we named him Frank. And then there's been like a bunch of memes in stream on this, like this channel and my second channel. So that's really funny. And now it's an armored zombie, so he's gone. So if I kill him, we can't say I killed him. That's been a lot of the memes is like, I keep getting accused of being the one that killed him. I got to kill this guy. I have no perks now. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, no. Wait, jumping jack round. Should be jumping jack round. But I was accused of killing. It's just, it's so much war right there. Like, there is no way it's back. It's not a jumping jack round. I am screwed. All right. Well, that's what we call a yikes around here. Um, Uh-oh. Round 18 on die rise might be the round for this. I have 10 shots in my S12. Uh-oh. I need to get double tap and then leave. Please be here. Please be here. Oh, damn you, Die Rise. Just... <sighs> I need an insta-kill, or a nuke, or just something. This is not good. No bueno. Nope. No bueno. No bueno. Hell. Come on, power up. Power up. I need a power up. I'm actually just dead if I don't get a power up here. That's an L, man. That's an L. It's an L. It's an L. Oh, where the hell is double tap? What? <laughs> Please be down here. You son of a bitch. No way I get out of that. And then it was right there and it leaves. This is bullshit. I hate this map. Oh my God. If I go over there and it leaves again, I'm going to freak move. I need. Uh, you son of uh oh uh oh dude holy shit when did i learn how to play this game uh oh uh those of you that were in the friday stream know absolutely how much i don't want to be on this map i can't even describe it i just this map makes me sick right now and then stoolinger makes a comment about how he just puked in his mouth me too, Stu. But you know what? I've never liked Stillinger as a character. But you know what? The fact that we can empathize with each other this game. You you and I are in this together, buddy. You and I are in transit. Oh, I need to turn fog off when I get out there. Let's do it now. F fog. Get that. Get that out of my zombies game. There we go. That's how we like it. Ah. Ed. Shut up. I, I honestly just hate him. Because every time I play this map, he does more inconveniencing to me than actually good i know i'm just gonna sit here and shit on transit i just don't like this map like i know how to play this map i've gotten around 50 on here multiple times like i know how to set up i know how to open everything this map just is like it's so good in theory but then in application it's not good in my opinion we all have our differing opinions because i know every time i shit on transit the transit lovers are like, oh, you're you're so stupid because you hate the map, but transit's not that bad, but it's just my opinion, dude. You like transit? That's fine. I hate this map. I think even if it were in BO3, it still wouldn't be. I mean, it'd be better, but it wouldn't be great. Like this map, it just it is too much. Like I like the travel idea, but like think about like if the locations weren't as far apart. Like think about if each distance to each location was cut in half. Because then it still has the travel thing, the travel features. But then it wouldn't be as, like, annoying. I don't know. Yet again, no jet gun, by the way. That's that's illegal. That is big illegal for the two box. Watch me get, like, a freaking ray gun or a ray gun Mark II. And then I'm going to have to actually play this map for a, quite a while. Uh, What did I just lose? A nuke? Oh, well, that's better than losing the game on round two. All right. I think I can get one of my box hits, but not both. Yeah, I'm just shy of both. Okay, just give me like something mediocre, so I'm not here for too long. Oh, this is good. What sucks is I'm gonna have to open up the farm, uh, like you know the the gate, but I want to train there. But I have to open it up because I want, uh, what is it? Double tap. So that's tough. Hopefully, I can get the hatch here. Well, actually, it doesn't matter where it is because. No matter what, I have to open up the farm. So actually, it's not a big deal. Yeah, okay, bye, Ted. Don't care. LOL, bye. Later, nerd. I'm gonna get my second box hit. Even though, actually, I need him to come back or... I knew that was there all along. 
I need him to come back around because like half of the time I try to cross that little lava patch over there without Jug, I die. Oh my God, I have to cross every lava patch without Jug this game. I mean, I could Denizen or Turbine that and Denizen it, but then I don't have a Turbine. Shit, I'm in a, no, oh, this is bad. Maybe that's what I have to do because I've never actually done this. How do you Turbine this and Denizen it? Hold on, let's, let's test. This is new to me. Oh, it's on. So, Denizen? yoo -hoo. We going? Okay, there we go. I've never actually done this. Okay. And then, oh, I can pick up the turbine. Actually, it's not a big deal. Wait, that's not that bad at all. Oh, shit. Never mind. You can't pick up the turbine. Uh, because it immediately unpowers it. Never mind. I lied. Okay, but like, why did I get a B knife again? Why are we doing this again? Okay, let's try this again. Because I guess I just had to let this turbine die. Hey, can you stay away from that? Thanks, man. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's not die doing this, though. Denizen? There you are. Let me run. And that should grab me right here. Perfect. I've gotten really good at timing that. Okay, can I grab the turbine and jump through? Let's test this. <gasps> yeah. You can't. Oh, wait. That's actually a really good location. Let's go. So Actually, I think I need to denizen my way back to... Oh, it's two knife. I need to denizen my way back to the start to get a turbine. Yeah, I think that's the plan. What sucks is I don't have a turbine, so I can't go get Simtexes and uh, maybe hatch in there. So I got to go back to the spawn. But see, I can't take that lava bridge because I don't have Jug. So, I mean, you can, you can make it. It's just very risky to the point where I'm not going to try it. So we're just going to Denizen around and try to get back to spawn. Because then I go to Diner. I need Speed Cola there. I need Galvas. And then I go to Farm to get Double Tap. And then we pack a bunch and we're good, which I mean, that doesn't sound like much, but then you're on transit. So it's going to take another like 20 minutes to get to that point. See, like I can just run right here to spawn, but it's just too risky. Like you can clear this. It's just, I don't know if I feel like messing with that right now. In fact, I know I don't feel like, oh, I just, why is there just denizen ass in my face? Oh, another free one. Thanks, man. Where am I? What? All right, well, these teleports have not been the kindest to me. I'm just going to go to farm and get... No, because I want to get turbine first. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Finally, a good teleport. Okay, we got hatch two. Okay. You maybe... Maybe we pack the Galil right now. Because then I don't have to worry about pack the rest of the game. That's probably smart. And then I'll worry about... Uh, speed and Galva's later. If I go over there and pack a bunch is not open, I'm gonna be so mad. Because it should be fine. I took the zombie with me, like, halfway. Like, I drug him by leash halfway, so he's not gonna go back and do it. I swear. This better be... That's right. I feel like pack a bunching every weapon on transit would be just the most toxic, annoying experience. Cause you have to chase down the box everywhere and you have to chase down pack a bunch a bunch you have to keep going back and forth like oh that'd be so bad okay at least we got galil in no uh, just whatever leave me alone all right i'm not gonna pack the b knife um i need to make sure i grab the hatch and then we just go to diner and farm so we're almost good to go but yet again if i go down i have to get my perks back which means i have to traverse the entirety of transit so Let's just, like, not go down to, like, at least 25 or something. Where am I? This is not diner. Um, damn it. Oh, I don't want to do this without Jug, but I have to. Eh. Eh, okay, that's one of the better ones. That one's not as long as the other two. I need another turbine if I want to get claymores, but I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. If I happen to get, you know, teleported back to spawn, I'll go for claymores. Rather than that, uh, yeah, F that. I'm just going to get on with the game so we have double i need speed i need galvas and then we're just good to go you know the galil will hold better ammo than the s12 it'll last longer but i also won't have max ammo rounds to help me out oh i'm just shy on getting speed and galvas okay well we're gonna get galvas kill a couple actually i'll just save a zombie just to be safe save a zombie go get speed and we're good to go until i go down in like three rounds and then have to do all this perk stuff again but until then Ah, uh, why did I stay in here? I said I was going to save a zombie before I got speed, and then I was like, oh, no, I can do it. I almost got myself killed really early here, and that has sucked really bad. A okay, nuke, thank you. Speed. 
and now I just need to head back to the farm. Wait, Ted, you're going to farm. Wait, Yo, what's up, dude? Missed you. Not really, but I'm going to use you. Yeah, it does suck that I opened this door, but I obviously couldn't go without double tap, given that this is my only weapon. So it does, because I mean, you know, this kind of, I mean, yeah. You know, the Galil is like the only true weapon I have. So, yeah, uh, sad I opened that. It's now a little slower over here and a little more unsafe, but I had to do it. So far, it has been really weird that I have to consciously make sure I don't buy Jug ever. And also, like, play like I don't have Jug, because you kind of play different once you get Jug. But now I need to make sure for this entire day of recording that I just play like I don't have Jug the entire time, because I won't have Jug. And I had to play like it. Dude, imagine after like the six hours, you five, six, whatever it was, hours of transit I played on Friday and how frustrated I was. Imagine if I got like a red gun or a Mark II and then I'd just been here forever. Like <laughs> I'm still giving it my best effort because I'd rather play transit again and complete and win the challenge than fall short because I just give up on transit. Like I don't want to give up on anything. But imagine if I was here for a while. What? What the f Did I miss that shot? Like, I thought I... I had an insta. I, did I miss that shot on the one spawning? Damn it. No, it's only around 15. Oh, I cannot die this early. Yay, I get to traverse the whole map again to get my perks back. Yay, I'm so excited. All right, we're back. If I go down again... Like before I get to like 25, I'm gonna be so pissed. It's like the transit, you know, issue, the exploring, traversing, traversing transit. Yeah, sure. However you want to word it. Traversing transit is so much more annoying right now. Cause since I don't have jug, all of those long lava spots, I have a good chance of dying if I go over them. So I need perfect denizen teleports most of the time, which that was the biggest issue for me right there. Is I just had like, five teleports that were good but weren't good enough and then i had like 15 that were bad and then like three that were good yeah i ran out of galil ammo okay let's go claymores and galva knuckles so i'm on 21 so even if something happens here actually if i die this round i'm at what 66 i need 20 that would be like directly on pace so i could die right this second and it's not awful. It's not great, but it's not awful. I think I'm gonna try to do Bus Depot last. I think that'd be really funny to do that map last. Just like the stupid, just hardest map, the one that's gonna cause the most distress. Just cause imagine if I load into that game and it's like, I need like 16 rounds. Oh, sick. Like imagine if that's the situation. That'd be just so funny. I think I'm gonna do Bus Depot last. That's actually a really good idea. I don't know. Why did I feel the need to 360 him? I don't... <laughs> I get really fidgety in games sometimes. Like, if you see me... Whenever I have a ballistic knife, I do this. I, I do it a lot, even with normal weapons. I just usually do it with mobility weapons. Because whenever I have mobility weapons, I'm kind of, like, trying to keep my controls active because I'm already ready to kind of just pounce around and stuff. So I'm always kind of why why, And I get asked that a lot, like, why I do a lot of weapon switches. It's kind of just fidgeting and just staying loose, I guess. Oh my god, see, that's what I love having a mobile weapon for. Like, the Blister Knife is just basically a mobility slot for me right now. But it's saved me many times. Wow. You know, I'm, I'm not traversing the map for my purse again. You know what? No. 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 It must, will come back to bite me, but you know what? No. <laughs> I am not running around the map again. Well, I'm on 27. Yeah, we're fine. You know, if I end up failing this challenge by like less than five rounds, we can come back to this moment and talk about it, okay? But you know what? I'm taking a stand against transit. I'm not running around the whole map again. I'm gonna come over here by double tap and that's it. Nope. Nope. Not doing that. Nope. I'm not running around the entire map again. I'm gonna get to 30 with just double tap right here. That's fine. Oh, no, I was so close to 30. That round was almost over. All right, so remember, Mob of the Dead. In normal COD Zombies maps, you have four lives. We're going to do the same thing on Mob of the Dead. Once I take four downs, it's over. Also, we've been allowing equipment, and Claymores are still allowed, but Hell's Retriever is not allowed. The Hell's Retriever, even unupgraded, it's just, it's basically cheating. It is an infinite ammo weapon, and it will get me pretty far by itself, which is 
you know, Simsex and Claymores can't do that. They're just a little bit of utility, so no Hell's Retriever. We're still gonna open pack a bunch. And again, this is the map I expected the most out of. So round 32 is what I'm thinking. That was my guess, but yet again, I haven't hit the box yet. Ideal setup would be like an AK-47, you know, cool map exclusive, and then Executioner, something like that. You know, not, it's not busted setup. It's a good setup. That's not busted though. So for the first time ever, basically, I'm going this way. Oh, key is here because box is cafeteria and I don't need to go do the retreat, not the retriever, the dog for the retriever, you know, because usually I immediately go to the retriever, try to fill up the dogs as soon as possible. But now we're kind of just not worried about it. But I can get both my weapons right now. So let's just let's see. Please no death machine or RPG. I don't want to be slow. I hate being slow. No LSAT either. Should I specified no bear. That's also pretty bad. All right, please something mobile mobility. Huh? Didn't I just ask for no death machine? What? What is this setup? All right, scratch it. Nope. I said round 32 mob did it the highest. Nope. That round 29 on transit is the highest. No, what is this? What is this setup? Excuse me? This actually might be the most like disgusting setup you could get. Like I'm a big, I'm not just a big mobility guy. Anytime I think about anything in COD zombies, I immediately am like, is this mobile? Is this setup mobile? Is this weapon mobile? Can I be mobile with this? And now I'm just anti-mobility right now. Like what? It, why? I gotta run around Mob of the Dead and open up back a bunch and I'm this fat? What the hell, man? Yeah, especially considering this is a map I'm gonna have to run around a lot. Oh, this is gonna be a long game. I need to get Claymores really early. Because actually, let's go get them now. Because I can run with Claymores out. See, that's it's good because Claymores are mobile. But it's also bad because I can't shoot when I have Claymores out. So this will help, but we're still not in a great scenario. I mean, luckily we are ahead. I'm at 74. I've done three maps, so I need hypothetically 66.6 .6 to be on pace. 67. So we are. Oh, God. I want to knife them. We are on pace, except for Bus Depot exists. So actually, we, we're ahead of pace, but Bus Depot exists. So we're kind of like on pace you know we're we're ahead of pace with an asterisk you could say i want to knife them but they're just they're hitting me before i can knife them like what are they doing so i'm gonna do what i usually do on mob of the dead where i start this i try to oh you're running so just shut up i try to keep as many zombies as i can alive because then i'll take them upstairs to that free double points that i opened up in front of cafeteria it's a good way to just have a good setup at the beginning you know just have a lot of points usually i use those points to go by jug on like round five or six but um, it, that's you know, obviously it's half the challenge today is not having jugs. See, it doesn't matter. That part does not matter today. But I try to keep as many as I can alive unless like I'm going to die in the process. Then I'll shoot them. But I kind of try to just, well, I try to make my way over there eventually. And this is definitely a huge problem that the only way I can actually efficiently even slightly move right now is by having. Yes, yeah, so you know, I have to do this when I'm so slow by having claymores out because I'm just so slow, but I can't shoot them. If I have Claymores out, I can do that, but that only works like once. Don't want to keep one. Yet again, this is still a good way to get set up. You know, you do this and then there you go. See, lots of points. I usually don't open the gondola up first because I'd rather not have to pay for the gondola every time. And I'd rather just have that part open because you need to go this way for Pack-A-Bunch anyway. So I could just use this and get more points and then have the entire map open on round five. See, we have 9,500 points. Oh, hell yeah. I may not have a good setup, but I have money. I also just realized I'm going to unironically buy Deadshot in this game. That way it fills up my fourth perk slot. I just realized that. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 go, 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 If I can get that, that's so cool. If I, if I can get that, that's so smart. Oh my God, that was so intelligent, my brain. <laughs> oh, that's such, that's such a good route. Hold on. That's so smart. So you open this, so you zap that one, right? You run over here. Oh, I need to hurry up to go get that though. So you run over here, you do these three generators, and then you can run and look at the last two numbers of the sequence right here and then just zap the first one until it works. Hold on. 
That was so smart. Holy shit. I used my brain for once. Is this why people think and like do critical thinking and problem solving? I mean, that was three plane parts with one afterlife. I don't if that's like a speedrun tactic that everyone already knows about. I just I don't know speedrun tactics. I don't watch Easter egg speedruns. I just I don't even watch zombies content. I make zombies content. I don't watch any. Wait a minute. Do I have the plane built on round five? How did I manage that? Wait a minute. I'm going to have the plane built with claymores and a shield on round five. Also, remember what I said? No acid trap. Acid trap is definitely cheating. I think the retriever is pretty cheating. Like if it's like one is not cheating, 10 is cheating. I think retriever is like a seven. Acid trap's a 10. That's big cheating. Dude, I'm, I'm on the plane on round five. That is, oh. Dude, can you die like that? Is that possible? Holy shit. Okay, this is definitely the earliest I've ever done Mob the Dead Pack Punch. Oh my god, can you die like that? That is terrifying. I don't have a tomahawk to do the tomahawk thing, so we're just gonna pretend that it did something there. Well, at the end of round seven, we are double packed and ready to go back to, you know, Mob of the Dead, the island. I just need to get perks, and then we are actually just good to go. I still don't exactly know how um this game's gonna work because of my setup. I mean, I I could just like, camp over here, right? Like, isn't this... I camp over here until my weapons fall off or something. I mean, this is fair game, so... Because I can train out of here as soon as your know, shield's close. And as soon as I need to, like, run, you know, I just bounce around over here and I can just do what I always do over here. I think I'm good to go get all my perks. If I have enough points, I should have enough points. And then we're actually just set up. We're actually... Dude, I've only been doing this recording for 20 minutes, and I have, like, an entire setup. That's, even though it's a two-box, so it took less time. But still, actually, to be fair, I didn't get Retriever. That does take quite a bit of time. And then I didn't have to do the free blunder gat or something. So, yeah, it makes sense, actually. And there's my boy, unironically dead shot. Because <laughs> why not? I mean, I just wanted to fill the perk slot. I don't want three perks. I guess that shot's welcome today. Even though I've talked about this, there is no bad perk. There are just perks that are bad compared to others. Like if, like, let's say Jug Double and Speed never existed, like Deadshot would be good because then you get like Stamina, Cherry, maybe PhD, and then you get like Deadshot or Mule Kick or... There are no bad perks, except for Who's Who when you have Quick Revive. There are just better perks than others, and there are some that just, since Jug Double Speed... Quick arrive and then stam exist and phd like why would you ever need dead shot what hold on let me do the math did i just get double swiped by a headless zombie what <laughs> really like i mean <sighs> headless zombie already sucks enough he double swipe me bro that's just cruel. Are you kidding me? Every time I get hit by a headless zombie on stream, I, I complain. I'm just like, dude, I hate headless zombies so much. Like, the problem with... You mother... The problem with a headless zombie is it's a zombie that you already killed. So, like, why do I have to kill the zombie again? Like, that's my problem with it. It's... Like, some people think it's a fun extra challenge, but it's unpredictable. And that's just obnoxious. It's... You have to kill a zombie multiple times and it's unpredictable like i just don't like that i think the worst part of like how immobile i was rather than just the setup being disgusting is like i'm forced to play this like really weird style of play where i'm kind of just bouncing around in this corner right here when well, now quest go into the barrack because i'm out of death machine ammo but like oh i'm forced to play such a weird style of zombies right now because i just i want to train and run around and like jump through gaps and stuff but i can't i am constrained in this weird little area because I just can't move. Well, I only have one down, but so far, 22 is technically like right on base. So no matter what, Mob of the Dead would say W because I'm staying on base. Well, actually ahead of base, but still. And I'm running low on ammo, so that could present our problem right now because, oh, uh, I don't have Galvas. Uh-oh, I don't have a melee. If I run into ammo, I'm actually just out of ammo. And then what do I do? Oh, shit. I didn't think about that. Hey, can I have a max ammo? It's right about now. N now? Hold on. Wait, wait, I got a 360 and it gives me one. What? I did a 360. How could I possibly not get a max? A nuke? That could force a max. Insta. Everything but a max. I have one shot. Um, I didn't foresee this happening. Um, 
you know I have claymores that could maybe this was claymores grenades and then my one Barrett shot and then if I don't get a max ammo shields can't force power-ups I don't believe but also shield bashing all the way through would kind of just be weird oh my god what do we do Ooh, okay that was a good I, that was a clean maneuver I actually like that like went forward and back so it pulled him closer wow we are uh, what the f what do you mean double points yeah we are in a bad position okay well i have two more lives but i i have more lives to give than ammo in my inventory am i actually have to like forfeit mob of the dead no shit, right like that'd be so awful oh my shield broke oh i still don't get how i did eh, okay that makes a little bit of sense i guess but still i don't know if i agree with i got double swipes it, it, whatever it's fine okay pass that ammo no oh and then i don't have my mobility anymore wow dude i'm gonna have to like forfeit mob of the dead here in a second this is bullshit what is it? oh i picked the grenade back up excuse me eh. please this is the last nade bro like does this force power ups by any chance still two melee I don't think this does power-ups, does it? Uh, I'm dead. Death machine mobility. Oh, death machine mobility. Oh my god. I, uh, well, um. I think we're actually just have to, like, forfeit away this game. This is bullshit. This move. What a way to end it. I mean, wow. The map I thought I was going to do the best on. I mean, part of the problem is, like, the death machine has one mag of like 500 i'm dead and then one reserve so if you get a max ammo you only get like your mag back oh i was just trying to talk fast because i thought i was dead yeah it's like 550 mag 550 reserve so you technically like a max ammo only gives you half ammo because you have half your ammo already in it so it's i think that was part of the problem and then the barrett also just kind of sucks and doesn't have a good amount of ammo so like it's just we had issues what so that can confirm shield does give you power-ups what did not know that honestly that is kind of blowing my mind i didn't think it could oh another one that i'm not looking too forward to another one that is going to be difficult because now there's no jug and no pack a punch so i get a war machine here it is literally useless if i get just even a bee knife here it's i mean well, i've been dealing with that anyway either way if i get a bee knife and an ar i can't use a packed ar to carry the bee knife it is literally just let me say it like this either ray gun should hopefully take me even without jug to 25 at least if i get like an executioner and or python we can get like 20 or something this one is probably going to be under 25 i'd say for rounds honestly there is a large chance that this is my best weapon on this map oh boy so this is map five so after this i think i'm gonna go buried and then nuke town then origins and then bus depot to finish it off is that right farm five six buried seven nuke town eight origins nine bus depot yeah all right i think i can get my first weapon so we'll have half an idea of how bad this is gonna be because yet again i just, M12, 16, S12 can't be saved by Pack-A-Punch. This is actually really, really big. I haven't gotten an SMR today. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It, dude, I can't pack it. It's going to have no ammo on round seven. All right. How much worse is it going to get? I've seen a lot of Mark IIs. <laughs> I'm getting three B-knives today, bro. What the fuck? I've got three ballistic knives. What the f- uh. <laughs> All right, now this literally might be my worst setup of the day. What is going on? And on this map too, where it needed to be a better one. Oh, this one hurts. Good thing I'm like way ahead of pace. If I was on pace, like perfectly on pace, I've done four maps. I need like 23, I guess. So what, 92, I'd say? Yeah. So we're okay. Yeah, we're- Wow, I'm not that far ahead. Holy shit. With this and Bus Depot ahead of me, I'm not that far ahead. Also, I'm really bad at this map. This is just a map that, like, 
I never wanted to play. If I was going to play a survival map, I was going to play probably Town or even Newtown. Like, I think Newtown's severely underrated. So, never in my mind did I ever want to go play Bus Depot or Farm. I was always just like, if I'm playing a survival map, it's going to be either of the other ones. So, as to actually how you run this map, I am the complete wrong person to ask. I have no clue. I'm just gonna run around and hope that I do something. So either Buried or Origins has to be better than Transit or Transit's gonna be my best map of the day. And I purposely gave up my last life basically because I didn't wanna go, I still had an extra quick arrive on Transit because I didn't feel like running around the map for perks. There's no one that saw that coming. If you, even if right when I upload the video, someone goes, your highest is gonna be like 30 on Transit or something, you're, you're hacking or something. Like even if you do it, the minute I upload this video, I'm calling bullshit. Even if you physically do not have time to skip through the video and figure out which one's the best. Some bullshit wizard shit, something. I get instantly happy when I get a max ammo. And then I'm like, oh yeah. I'm only using my type 25 on insta kills right now because if I use it for anything else, I blow through the ammo in literally 0.2 seconds. So whatever. Oh, type 25 time. Yay, type 25, do your thing. I almost died. Yeah, do your thing. Oh, shh. That's close. Uh, no. I mean, thank God I have a mobile weapon, but, um. Yeah, this is basically just melee and only without jug. Ooh, see, that's why I love mobility weapons. You can get the good, just floaty bounce strafe, and it's so nice. Well, this is the last round that the Galvas are a one hit, so. This is the last round I have fun. Well, as much fun. I've messed up there. As much fun as you can have on farm two box challenge. Really? Wait, why did I think I should just sit over here and melee? What, what am I doing? Oh my god, you just sent the entire pack through here. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, still, I'm dead. It really would help if I knew how to actually run this map. I just don't. I'm like, I'm so unfamiliar, unversed, uncultured with the town, or the town, the map of BO2 farm. <laughs> okay, that was comical. Wow, this went to shit instantly. Hey, round 15, the exact like point I said that we'd be lucky if we got to. Yay. I just, you know, I don't know how to play this map, like I said, and I don't intend on learning how to play this map. Like, I just, I'm never really gonna go out of my way to learn farm. It's just so awkward. And I also don't have like a weapon I can shoot. Like if I had a ray gun or a ray gun mark two where I could just, you know, like shoot the zombies, like I can shoot this, but it's not very efficient at shooting. Oh, I'm Marlton. Whatever, yeah, I'm out of here. You know, I don't even feel like being up here anymore. I'm not even gonna restart for it. Whenever we're streaming on Victus maps, I restart until I'm Rustman because I hate every other Victus character. We can already get the first box set. We've done nothing in this game. Okay. Hammer. Probably. Oh, shit. Okay. Shut up, Marlton. Oh, the mighty Rega. Oh, Do I. Uh, this guy. <laughs> Wait. Regun? Do I have. Hold on. Regun? PhD this game? <gasps> Wait a minute. We can make this game nice. We can make up for farm and probably bus depot i get the second box hit soon actually which is nice well actually right now there we go oh, i didn't hit the box what oh there we go okay i'm gonna do one more dive real quick and well like i said we have one more imagine if i said i could keep mustang a sally so i have red gun mustang a sally i wouldn't have jug but dude that'd be sick a phd if i get it eventually i don't know barry's looking like it could be the game barry looks like it might overtake transit please something go overtake transit i don't care which i don't want transit being on the podium being number one on the podium after this all right come on second box it now if i get time bomb oh my god what is this setup oh my all right well if i mess up it is totally on me You guys ever just have events in your life you don't want to talk about? This is one of those for me. You have got to be kidding me. Just give me fucking PhD. I've been doing this forever. Thank you. Yeah. 
Thank you. We may have gone down early, but our spirits will not diminish. We we have a setup. As long as I can go get quicker ride back, or this will be the biggest fail ever, where I finally get a really good setup, and then I just throw it away. I don't know if this is just like a power suggestion thing, but I feel like I always get the best box look that I can on BO2 on this map. I feel like Ray gun Mark 1s are pretty common, like decent pistols, like, you know, Remington New Model, I, I hardly get that. Like Executioner, I mean, definitely Ray gun Mark 1, like, that's the big one. I feel like they're so present in this map. I don't know why. I mean, I guess there's three wonder weapons, so you do have the highest chance of any other map. But still, like, I don't know why box luck on this map always feels heightened. Like I said, it could just be me, and then I'm, like, imagining things. But also, sadly, I can't get the free perks from the witches because they could actually give me Jug, which ruins things. So, yeah, um, sadly can't take the perk, whatever they give me. I want to pack a punch and then worry about my perks, because, again, if I go down, then, like, the perks are a waste of money. So I might as well pack early, which is the inverse of what I usually would do in a zombies game. Usually it's perks first, but since I can't get Jug... I'm more likely to lose my perks, so therefore I'm not as worried. I bought double tap just so I don't lose as much money in here, hopefully. Because I don't want to lose money in here. Well, if I had it down there, dude. Oh my god, I've been so mad. Oh my. A am I playing COD Zombies or a horror game? Because I'm getting jump scared to no shit, apparently. Because I'm so scared of dying, so I just. I don't have Jug. I'm getting like jump scared, basically. All right, well, now I'm going to go get Speed Cola, and then we have an entire setup. That is actually the, like a better setup than I thought I'd see today. So after this, we have to go to... Where are we going? Nuketown, which is... I don't even know how that's going to go. And then we go to Origins, which would be really cool. Just give me on Origins, just give me a Scar H and a KSG, and I'd be so happy. I would take a Scar H and a KSG over anything oh just give me cool weapons and then we go to bus depot for the finale which i'll be interesting because imagine if i'm like 12 15 rounds off completing it and i need bus depot and it's a bus depot two box like dude that's gonna be a good ending honestly i think that's the only way to make bus depot entertaining in this challenge is like having it as the finale setter like it's gonna be awesome i've actually been recording this like basically all day so by the time this game's over I actually need to edit another video and I want to upload one on my second channel. So I think actually after this, I'm going to come back to the other three maps a different day, which is going to feel really weird. Hopefully I still have a decent amount of momentum going into that because then we have Nuketown, Origins, Bus Depot. Yeah. Wow. That's that could be a really tough setup. Yeah, I wanted to finish recording this today, but it literally took like the entire day rather than I want to get something edited. But rather than that, yeah, it's going to feel really weird. I've never like done. Oh, actually, the only time I've done like multi-recording in one challenge, you know, across different days. Cause you know, sometimes like I'll reset these recordings like every two hours. It'd be back when I was doing like custom zombie high rounds when I first started my channel, when I was doing like round hundreds on custom maps. And there'd be times where, you know, I like play for four hours and then I'd take like a three hour break and then come back to it later. Yeah, I've never really done like finishing this on a different day. That's gonna feel really weird, but I have other things I need to do. Still for YouTube, but just, not related to the challenge. So I gotta make sure I take off the little, like, the number right there before I stream on my second channel tomorrow. Or some people are gonna know exactly what it is. The only thing is, Nuketown's a harder map. Origins can be difficult, especially in early rounds. And then, oh shit, Bus Depot's obviously difficult. So, I'm gonna have to, like, warm up while playing the harder maps at the tail end of the challenge next time I come back to this. That's gonna be really weird, but I kinda have to do it. Ooh, I was close. I needed to run for that max ammo. Oh god, that was terrifying. I mean, even with that early mishap, we still have a hell of a game going on. So, I mean, not mad about how this is going to end for the day, I guess. Like, for the day, I think we're in a good position overall, no matter what. Unless I actually double down here. But rather than that, you idiot, why the f <laughs> I'm getting, like, impatient, and I'm going out and, like, tracking their spawns. Like, I'm running to their spawns. Instead of letting them come to me. I'm just being an impatient idiot. Oh, please. Okay, we're good. Please don't end around. Please don't end around. I need to get my perks back. It's going to be a very unfortunate end of the game. On like a way too early of a round for my... Oh, shit. If I throw away a really good setup for just being impatient, I'm going to be so pissed. I mean, it's obviously just my fault, but still. I'd be mad at myself. I need to go get quick revive. Honestly, I might just go try to get like 
everything but stam this round. Because I could dive in real quick. Oh, my sprint canceled. I could dive in real quick to the witch's house if need be. But at that point, I might as well make a run for stam. But uh, I don't know. I just, I'm an idiot. I'm just dumb impatient. Yeah, you know what? Screw speed and double. I'll worry about it later. Or not speed, stam and double. I was making sure I still had that. Because I know once you take a lot of fall damage, I think you lose it. So I was making sure I still had that. We good? We are hopefully okay. The spawns are going to be kind of weird. They're going to be... Yeah, I was just going to ask if they're going to drop from there. Oh. I was just letting the nuke zombies go off, dude. I'm almost out of ammo, too. I was just letting the nuke zombies go off. And the, the, what the, what the, whatever. Hardly any ammo, damn it. No, for my weapon set, this is going to be an underperformance. No. Oh, dude. I'm not going to have ammo, am I? Please? Please? I beg? Because if I don't get ammo soon, I'm kind of screwed. Smile. Smile. Wait, the mace changed? Oh, God. Oh, God, the mace changed. Dude, I have, like, no ammo. I have five ray gun shots and the mace changed. Uh. Uh, this way? No. Where's the fountain, bro? No, this is not it. Are you shitting me? Oh, my God. Let me through. Where's the fountain? It changed. Yes. Wait, let's, let's chill here. I have five shots. Let's see if I can train around here and use that as an escape if need be. Hold on. Five shots. Actually, Claymore first. Oh, shit. All right, here we are on Nuke Sound. So after this, we have Origins and Bus Depot, and then we're done. It's a new day. I'm recording this the next day after the first six maps. This is one of them that I'm kind of like on because I don't know when Pack-a-Punch is going to fall. I don't know when what perks are going to fall, obviously. So out of the last three maps, I need 63 rounds. So I'm actually technically barely ahead of pace so we're doing okay i need to do good here i need to do okay on origins and then bus depot i need to just get to like round 10 hopefully like that's the goal but now since it's an entirely new day i am not warmed up and i'm on nuketown so this is gonna be probably pretty tough almost was very tough on round one. Oh my god hopefully i get decent perk luck good pack punch luck decent box luck because yet again like i said i'm not warmed up i need I need assistance game, okay? I can't get, what, my fourth bee knife of the thing? The bowl challenge? Let's not get another bee knife or war machine or SMR. None of that. Give me an M27, because I want the map exclusive weapons. And then give me, like, an executioner or a python or something like that. Something mobile. Yeah, I think I can go get one weapon, maybe? Hopefully I can get just at least one. Yeah, no, I'm just short. Okay, we're almost at the point we can get one weapon. I restarted for box behind blue because honestly, that's kind of just good practice on Nuketown because one, don't open this door. It messes up a lot of things back here. Two, this is the spot you want to be on Nuketown. So three, just restart for the box back here, honestly. I need one kill. And then I go, uh, and I hit the box. You should be one knife, right? Okay. First box hit, a perk's falling in. I'd like to see that. Hold on, what side? That's yellow side. Ah, uh, I was really... I was going to say no DSR, please, because since I'm not warmed up, like I need to stay not clunky. But um, I should have specifically said it like I was thinking because I look smart. I mean, overall, not an awful draw. Hopefully pack a bunch just fell in. Then get iron sights on this pretty soon. That'd be huge. Actually, double points max ammo is huge. That's pistol rack. Yes. And then I can get in our box it soon and then we can go see what perk fell. Oh, never mind. We're going to wait. Nope. There's an insta kill. Never mind. We're waiting. Give me the next round. Okay. Actually, I was going to get the airbox it now, and then we'll go see what happened perk-wise. Okay. Something mobile. I need to be fast. Well, we out here on Nuketown. Like, I mean, strong weapons, but since I don't have Jug, I need to be able to run. And I can't run. I can just jog. I'm like a juggernaut from, like, MW3. It's not back there. I can check the other side, but if it's the one in the middle, I won't know until I get back there. Is it up there? No. Is it over here? Oh. Oh, it's Pack-a-Punch. Okay, huge. That's, yes. That might even be better than having Double Tap land first. That's actually huge. Since, you know, I don't have Juggernaug at all in this challenge, um, it's better to Pack-a-Punch, honestly, because it's so easy to lose your perks, which is just a waste of points early on, especially. So next step, honestly, I need to get Claymores from the bus soon. But I also need to pack a bunch. Also, as soon as I'm done recording this, like literally right when this is done, well, I'm gonna try to eat real quick. And then I have to stream on my second channel. 
So I need to try to like consciously make sure I don't say anything about like this challenge on the second channel. Like I don't want to be like, oh damn, dude, I barely missed the goal or, you know, oh, it just, it ended so close or just something. I gotta be careful. I feel like I'm gonna try to, I'm not gonna try to, but I might accidentally consciously slip or subconsciously. That's the correct word, not consciously. And I hear a perk falling and it's gotta be over here, right? Okay, give me double tap over here. Did we get double over here? Ow, good start, good start, please. He's fast. What is that? Speed? Not mad about that. Honestly, this might be one of the worst maps to have like no mobility on because the spawns on this side are so frantic that you kind of need to do a lot of sprint bursting over here because there's literally like spawns everywhere right here. So this might actually be the worst map to be this slow on. Oh, you. And he just slid through my shots. Oh, come on. All right, we're not double downing or I'm going to lose my mind because then I have to go to like 35 on Origins or something stupid. No double down. He slid right through my line of fire. That was sad. And again, I'm not warmed up and it just feels so clunky now. This is not the ideal setup, really. I get like insta kill double points in the round. Okay. I got to get quicker right back. I got to go back a bunch. All right. I think I have one try getting iron sight on my DSR. So hopefully we walk out there. Why did I kill the zombie over here? Okay. One try, please. Don't give me silencer. Don't give me. What else can you give me? Oh, thank you. You can give me variable zoom, but that's after you get silencer. Okay. We're good. We're good. I just need perks. I need to open the bus and get claymores. Honestly, I think I'm doing that before I get speed cola. I need to be able to run. This is bad. I cannot run. All right. I'll be semi more comfortable, but yet again, it is not comfortable when the only way you can move is by putting your weapon away because then you can't shoot them directly in front of you. At least I feel like I can actually, you know, have access to my legs now instead of being glued to the ground. This setup, man. Oh, my God. You. I'm just zoning out. Oh, my God. I'm just so zoned out. OK, we're having some woes right now. Oh, God, we're having woes. Listen. It's fine. I still have probably a couple of lives to give. Oh, and probably not a good idea to have your warm up games be the integral maps, the back end of the challenge where you really need to close everything up. OK, yeah, Um, we're on Origins. I need 52 rounds between Origins and Bus Depot, which means I need a hell of a run here. I need a hell of a run on Bus Depot. But luckily, even though Origins is one of the trickier maps, it's a very tricky map. It's just because of the mud, the panzers, I won't have jugs, so the panzers can actually like insta flamethrower me. The Templar zombies also create their own nuisance because you have to run across the map middle of the round. Even with all of that, I am the most comfortable when I'm playing BO2 Origins. Like I've done some very nice things on here and also I don't have stabs. So all of that uncomfortability is like multiplied by two. But yet again, this is the map. One, it's my favorite map of all time. You know, BO2 specifically. It's also the map that I decided I wanted to learn how to play zombies rather than just trying to get to round 20. It was the map that I was like, okay, I really like this game mode. Um, Let's learn how to like do the advanced ins and outs. So then I learned how to do the stabs, the red digs and all that. So as long as I get decent weapons here, I need to hit like a 30 plus. So hopefully I get something that actually has ammo to get that far and then just a, like a ray gun mark one on bus depot would do it as long as I don't get killed easily but it'd make it doable let's say that so these next two box hits are seriously gonna dictate so much I mean yet again I still have to perform and survive and all that but these next two box hits are gonna be some of the critical points in this challenge imagine if I died there I'd have threw something all right box hit one hey you need to shut up you about killed me Dude, piss off. Why are you back? I don't want them. <laughs> they're, they're in Nuketown. I don't want you. If I get a DSR here, I swear to God. Ooh, that's a bad pull. Decent weapon. No ammo. Oh, that's not the best pull I could have had. If I was still only needing to get to like round 20 or 22, whatever it is. Wouldn't have been a bad pull, but now, yeah, that's kind of tough. Also, yes, technically I could do G-Strikes, but I'm not going to because think about how easy it is to get killed doing that. That is honestly like a certified surefire way to die. Melee on like round 15 on BO2 without Jug. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. So my weapons definitely could have been worse. I really like having the Scorpion because I like never use this thing. But uh, just considering the, how bad the Newtown game went, I needed something that could extend. Is that a nut? What the f 
Give me double points. That's 1600 points. Give me double points. I needed something that had enough ammo to extend the game, which the hammer could be able to do. But then yet again, using the hammer in Origins Mud, like, oh, God. Well, I can't get Jug, so there's no point in running over there. So I guess we try to get Shield as soon as possible and get Pack-a-Bunch open as soon as possible because I'd rather have, you know, Pack-a-Bunch early to fight the Panzer than Burks. And Q Samantha complaining, you have to help me. I just want to go home. You have to do this. You have to do... The gateway, blah, 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 blah. Nag, 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 shut up. Oh, it just gets so annoying, dude. Like, it's so cool the first couple times you hear Samantha because you're like, oh my God, I hear this, like, trapped girl in this external dimension and all this. Like, it's so cool. And then you hear it every three rounds for hours and hours and hours across years and years and years. And it's like, if I didn't help you on round five, I'm not going to help you on round eight. I'm not going to help you on round 50. So stop asking. I know she's just really fun to meme because it's just, oh, she just, her quotes activate so much. And then I think my favorite part with Samantha is when you're doing the, uh, like the G-Strike thing and you take the tablet from the little like holy water, little, whatever you call it, the, little, the water in the church, right? And then you step in the mud and instead of being like, oops, you got it dirty. Can you go back and do that again? It's start over and it's like what the you're the one trapped and you're gonna be talking like that to me the one that you want to save you oh buddy at least after this on round five i'm gonna go build the shield and we already have five gens on actually i can go do gen six we can have all six generators on on round five i won't have pack open yet we might be able to pack before the panzer gets here which would be huge all right i actually want to start working on thunder fist because Yet again, if I run out of ammo, melee can at least help extend the game a bit. Dude, this is the third one I've dug up in six rounds. I'm going to try to get the gold shovel and do the red digs. Can I have those later instead of now? Three in six? That's an insane. Are you kidding me? I think I'll pack the scorpion because it's going to be my main weapon for the most part. Because it's just speedier. Like, I'm... Like, even just past the whole... I don't know the actually mobile like running with it i also am way more comfortable with weapons that i can like snap quicker like that you know kind of like oh it's done like that and i can't really do that that's a headless zombie i can't really do that with the hammer scorpion is definitely gonna be the main weapon of the day oh god that robot's coming uh can you wait i need to save a zombie oh shit oh shit i need stam i really need to get stam before i fight the panzer too let's make sure we save a zombie though because if i get stuck in round eight doing all this i'm gonna be so sad oh i'm gonna be just shy on stam mm, i can force 170 points off the zombie or i could go digging i'm gonna go digging because i actually kind of want to get red digs this game i mean it won't even it's not gonna help that much and yet again i can't force extra quick revives really because it's so low chance and the only really way to force a quick revive easily is by not getting speed cola because speed cola and quick revive have the same rarity so if you get every perk rather than speed, you basically can 50-50 speed and quick revive for your eighth perk slot. So then the question, or you know, then like you guys might say like, oh, just do that then. But since I can't get jug, I'm, excuse me? Since I can't get jug, therefore, no matter what, it's gonna screw me over. Like I can still, the red digs will increase my chances of more quick revives, which is kind of what I'm hoping for here. I'm not gonna go way out of my way to do the red digs because that could get me killed. It's gonna eat a lot of time. Cause you know, sim texting them could get me killed because the zombie could trap me or I sim text myself because I've done that before. Cause when you don't have jug, it's kind of easy to do that. All right, this is risky wasting points on a perk before the panzer gets here. Cause he could down me easily, but Stam could also save me against the panzer. So here we go, time to fight the boy. Oh, the middle robot, you piece of shit. Oh, zombie. Oh no. Ooh, uh, he usually spawns on the other side. He usually spawns on the other side when you're over here. I already killed him. Holy shit. The scorpion did it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Just give me all this. I don't even care. Uh, oh, wait. I don't have gold shovel yet. I can't do red digs. Damn, that's zombie blood, though. We got him. <laughs> the scorpion, even without double tap, actually mauled him. That was really close, though. I gotta be right on the edge of gold shovel already. Wow, these digs have been respawning so nicely for me. Actually, before I forget. Oh, no, we'll get it in a minute. Okay, I need to get claymores for my claymore mobility. I see zombies behind me. Move. I thought I bought them. There we go. Claymore mobility is acquired. Oh, this is so close to being filled, but the freaking idiots are going to be here. Hey, Templars, can you go to Gen 5, man? Just help a boy out, please. At least Gen 4. 
Don't be like Gen 6 or up front. That's doable. Okay, I gotta go back there and finish that though. Oh my. <laughs> God, BO2 without Jug is absolutely awful. Oh my. Dude. This game <laughs> is so terrifying at all times. All right, I can pack the hammer, which is nice. And then I guess I'll go see if I can get gold shovel soon. I gotta be so close. And then maybe I'll try a little bit to get red digs. Yet again, I don't want red digs to like take super long and just end up screwing me over because I get unfocused and down myself or something stupid. Okay, both weapons are packed. That's nice. I still need to take care of the Templar zombies though because I need to keep power on for perks and to actually get max ammo from them. There's gold shovel. I knew I was so close. Round 10. That's pretty good gold shovel round. Wow. We are starting off strong. I can't use the ice staff to get red digs, obviously. Like I can't use the, for the zombie bloods, I should say. But I'll still try to simtex some of the locations occasionally. Like I'm not gonna go and find it this round no matter what. Open by the songs of the ancients. Oh, no shit. Oh, okay, found it. <laughs> if you don't know how that works, as soon as you get gold shovel, the red digs activate. And if you stick, you're active because there's 16 locations because if you have four players in the game, each one has four locations. So if you stick your active dig spot, you can see it like that, not in zombie blood mode. So if you simtex it directly on it, and you can do it in BO3 with trip mines also. You, so you stick it and it activates it so you can see it, not in zombie blood. So then what you do is you, you sit near the spot until a zombie blood drops, and then you run over and get it. And that is... There we go. See? After that Nuketown game, I am showing pure textbook Origins gameplay. Look at that. And only one of them activates per round, so I can end this round without rechecking locations. So, I mean, if you can learn the locations, you can just periodically check them with Simtexes. I don't know. A lot of people get confused by the red digs, because every time I'm playing Origins and I do that exact thing, I get, like, a good handful of questions. They're like, what the hell did you just do? So... That's how it works. Once you get the gold shovel, they activate. And then once they activate, you can check those locations for them. Dude, gold helmet on round 13. I am, wow, this is, <laughs> what a game of origins that's being played right now. So I'm gonna try to get cherry from this perk machine and then I'll take my free double tap. There it is. Okay, now I'll take my free double tap. So we're sitting all right. I'll keep trying to find the red digs though, but we're good right now. As long as I don't go down, I have a nice perk set up. And then we got Thunderfist. I mean, obviously, still have to fight Panzers. I can double down, and then that's just an instant game over. But rather than that, it's going well. Dude, I... Uh, not having Jug. Yeah, you gotta love it, man. Oh, it's over there. Mm, I forgot to Simtex that one. Wait, give me another... Ooh. Die, bud. Damn it. Okay. I know where the next one is, even though it doesn't give me a slaw right now because I already have double tap, but still. Found another one. Ooh, wait, wait. Uh-huh. Excuse me? All right. I should be able to make it over to that one in time. Uh, can I? No shit, I missed this, right? Please. I ran as fast as I could. You stupid. I don't want to sit over here. I guess I got to chill over here, even though... Is it even worth it? Should I even... Question answered. Yeah, I'm not comfortable in this tank path without Jug and a staff. Well, unfortunate first down, game's still going well. I don't think I'm gonna try for that anymore. I think I'm gonna just focus on surviving. I just need a really good game here and I don't wanna ruin it like that. Oh, you idiot. You, ah, oh, I risked so much just to go try to get the freaking the Templar zombies. Can you die, Panzer? Are you fucking, hey. Hey, thanks. Oh, wait, oh, no, no, that kills Templars. I won't get the max, but it kills Templars. Oh, thank God. Uh, wonder if his stam. There's an insta kill. Thank you. What'd I get? Double, sure. Oh, I'm an idiot. I still don't have QR, but, uh. The ground spawn. You, f and my shield broke. The f the ground spawn? Oh, oh my god, bro. Like, why? Like, now what am I meant to do with that? And my shield broke. Wait, wait, my shield's broke. Uh, I need to play. Oh, I can't move. Okay. 
Uh, I'm in the mud without Stam and the shield's gone. Oh my god, I need to get to Stam. Oh, holy shit. Okay, I'm out of QRs, so I gotta get lucky from Wonder Fizz, even though... Probably not. You Alright, it's okay. All I have to do is get a round 25 on Bus Depot. So basically, if you don't know what Bus Depot is... No perks, no pack a bunch. So, and I don't even think there's Galva Knuckles. So I'm pretty sure if I don't get one of the red guns, it's probably chalk. Like even just on ammo. So, because there's not a wall weapon I can get from the box. There's MP5, M14 Olympia. I need one of the red guns or it's over. Honestly, I think the Nuketown game screwed it. Like if I'd have just gotten nine more rounds on Nuketown, like around 20, that'd have been like, you know, eh. Like, a decent game. Nine more rounds would have made me need, what, like a 16 on this? Which would have been pretty, and depending on the weapons, doable. I mean, again, it's not over yet. I just have to get one of the ray guns. That's actually... <laughs> yeah, it's literally it. Because rather than that, if I run out of ammo, I don't think I can... There's no Galvas or anything. Oh, you mother... You stupid. Just, you... F no way, that's so sad, bro. If I don't get a rag out of this next one, the game just debated me so hard. What's this wall weapon over here? Remington? Yeah, you can't get that out of the box either. Okay, well, yeah, this has got to be a rag gun. I mean, DSR is not bad. It's not good for this map. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, if I get round 25 with this setup with no perks, no pack a bunch, no Galva Knuckles, no Claymores, no Simtexes. And it also kind of sucks that, you know, the DSR, I could have managed with this. I don't know, until 25 on pack a punch without a double tap. I could have managed with this. But the FAL is not mobile. So I just don't have a good mobility weapon. And I don't know how I'm going to train this. I don't know Bus Depot well. I mean, there's not much to know, but obviously having map knowledge how to run it is better than what I have, which is hope. Not much, but some hope. All I gotta say is if I get to like, I don't know, like like 20-ish. Yeah, it's somewhere between 20 and 25 and I fail by like less than five rounds. Remember when I said me being too lazy to run across transit for my perks back? You we would look back on that moment. <laughs> it's looking kind of funny right about now, but also, I mean, if I get to around 20 with the setup on this map, that'd be great. I mean, the DSR is definitely gonna have to be like carrying most of the weight because I'm like thinking back to Nuketown and how the FAL was like really falling off with Pack-A-Punch and Double Tap at like around 20. So this is going to be the DSR show if I can live that long. So far, at least I'm on 11. So far, it's looking like I'm going to beat my Nuketown round, which I had a Pack-A-Punch DSR and a Pack-A-Punch Hammer. But so, you know, in quick revive, but I beat my Nuketown round. Nuketown was my lowest. <laughs> Bro, if I'd have just gotten... Like nine rounds on Nuketown. Well, nine more. So I got in 20. Because I got 11, I believe. We'd be like so close. Oh, the DSR is two shotting. Yeah, we'd be so close to completing it right now, actually. I mean, it still suck with this setup, but it'd be pretty... Not pretty doable. It would be doable. But now I got a... I don't know. DSR headshot the entire horde. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. How how the hell am I gonna do this? This is awful. I can't move. Why did I just give me like an executioner in this second slot at least so I can move? Well, I threw on Nuketown, as we can see. 12 rounds should have been doable in there, or 12 more, or just ah uh, man, like nine more and then a little more on transit. Actually, transit was so good though. A little more on buried because I had the hell of a setup on buried. I kind of just threw, and I ain't gonna lie. Alright, if you enjoyed this video and want to see longer videos like this. Please let me know down in the description. And if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing. I'd really appreciate support. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.